This is the Nodi Graphics Project, Graphics and Exhibit Project, it's what it became known as, and this is a project that was enacted about 18 months ago. It's a culmination of 18 months of work, of research, of uh, refinement, if you will. We renovated Nodi in 2010, and when we moved back into it, we had a large amount of memorabilia, a number of artifacts and other things, and we took a second in time to catch our breath and to say, okay, how do we want to put this together? How do we want to tell the story? And how do we want to express the essence of participating in Mercersburg Athletics? What we wanted to do was bring out the stories, bring out the noteworthy moments, bring out the recognition, and also bring out the inclusive nature of what Mercersburg Athletics is. I did most of the research type of things and gathering resources, so um, I compiled a lot of different information from past seasons. Uh, I found a lot of pictures, both old and new. If there was an interesting article in one of the newspapers or that I found in the archives at the library, maybe we thought that it would be something important to highlight. I was looking for anything that was important or looked interesting all the way back from 1900 until up to the now. Everything was just spread out in different places. Some of the information was in the newspapers, some was in the yearbooks, some was in Mercersburg Magazine. It was just a lot of work to make sure I didn't miss anything in any of those resources. So there were eight parts. By the time we sifted through and decided upon the layout and the structure and the design of the project, there, there wound up being eight things that we wanted to do. And it was a combination of bringing the traditional values, the history of the place, and of the athletic department and, and of, of athletics in general together with the contemporary nature in the world in which we live today. So the first section of this was the in the entryways to the building. So on the north side and the, the south side we put graphics on the walls and they were more contemporary graphics. They were recent photos of um, our alums engaged in different sports. The second stage of this was what we call noteworthy moments. And these are five foot by eight foot canvas boards. These noteworthy moments were thematic in nature. And they ranged from the recognition of some legendary coaches from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s to the recognition of the spirits and traditions and the rivalries and really what's the unofficial motto of the athletic department, hard work, fair play, clean life. The third stage in this was what we call the stories. And you see those on the columns as you walk down the north hallway and walk down the south hallway. On those columns, you will find eight stories. Now we could have, we had about 50 that we could have told, but we chose eight because we felt that they were reflective of moments in history in the school's life. They were reflective of different aspects of the school's life. And they were, again, inclusive. The fourth component of this was uh, really internal. We wanted something that our current students would see. We wanted something that would create an atmosphere. So we wanted something in the back hallway, or what's known as the east-west hallway, that runs between the issue room and the athletic training center. Basically, every kid who plays a sport at Mercersburg go through that hallway for one reason or another. So that hallway has some wall graphics in it. It also has thematic panels. So you'll see unity, you'll see contribute, you'll see attitude immersed in with the graphics of our contemporary athletes. The next stage of this was an actual recognition piece for the original building itself. The original Nolde Gymnasium was finished in 1912, and it really just includes that center part of the building. With the additions of the Flanagan Pool, the Plants Courts, the Coon Wrestling Room, and things like that, the athletic center, the athletic complex grew out. But the original building, we wanted to capture its history, so there's a nice four panel piece that addresses the origins of Nolde, which is connected to the origins of the athletic department and athletics in Mercersburg overall. The next stage of this was the Olympians Hall, and that is more set up like a museum piece. It's an exhibit piece, so we have everything from Charlie Moore's gold medal to, and Charlie was class of 1947 and won his gold medal in 1952. We also have um, memorabilia and artifacts that date back to 1912 with Ted Meredith in what's arguably known as the greatest 800 meter race of all time in the Olympics, 
in Stockholm, Sweden. The last part of the actual display was the selection of two quotes, and one of those came from Charlie Moore, and it was about his coach, Jimmy Curran, and the other came from Carl Reisner uh, back in the 1990s. It talks about the what you learn from your participation in athletics. The final piece to all of this, uh, the one that will actually be built further into the future, it'll probably take us at least two years to complete, is the new digital display. We're very excited about that because particularly with our alumni, the alums come back and they will now, with this interactive display and the touch screen, be able to find these teams that they played on, JV and varsity level, um, they'll be able to find other pieces of information about Mercersburg's athletic history and it just really connects us in a way that we haven't been able to connect to before. My payoff, if you will, I guess, because it's not my building, but my payoff actually is when someone comes through, sees the pieces, reads the stories, and they get it. You know, I, I had a person one time, I said, you know, what do you think? And they said to me, I get a real sense of what you guys do in athletics here. And that's exactly what we aimed for.